Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to schedule, set up, and join a Zoom meeting. So Zoom is an audio and video conferencing software that is getting bigger and bigger due to uh, Skype being terrible and other uh, audio and video conferencing software not being up to snuff. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Let me explain to you guys how you can schedule, set up a Zoom meeting, and then how you can join a Zoom meeting when someone sends you the link. So as you can see here, I am on the zoom.us website here. I have already logged in. You can log in with your Google account, Facebook account, or you can set up a native Zoom account if that is what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and once I've logged in, I'm going to go ahead and go over to my account. You're going to see your account details here, my profile, my meeting settings. And then once you're here, the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to where you see schedule a meeting. So go ahead and click on schedule a meeting here. This is going to give all of your details about your meeting. The topic of your meeting will go here. The description of your meeting will go here and then also this is the most important stuff here when and the duration of the meeting so when do you want the meeting to be let's say we want the meeting to be tomorrow at let's say 2 p.m and we want the duration of that meeting to be let's see here 30 minutes we're only going to have a short meeting of 30 minutes and then also uh, understand that if you don't have a premium or pro version of zoom you may be limited to the duration of the meeting but you can always just hang up on the meeting start a new one and and go that way. Uh, choose your time zone here. This can be very tricky, especially dealing with people all across the globe. And then if you want this to be a recurring meeting every single Tuesday for 30 minutes, click that there and you'll never have to go through this process again. Under video, uh, where it says host, if you want your video to be on or off, you can choose the ticker box here. For your participants or the people joining the meeting, uh, if you want their video to be on or off, that will let them know whether or not they need to get their cam set up. And then under audio, do you want to to be telephone, computer audio, or both. I always select both here because it allows my uh, members that are joining the meeting to either call in from their telephone or use their computer audio. You never know what situation they may be in. Uh, under meeting options here, you either require a meeting password Enable join before the host, which I always do. Uh, mute participants upon entry. Again, if you don't want, if you have a lot of people joining, you may want to choose this here. And then you can use your own personal meeting ID uh, with your meeting ID code here. Or you can record the meeting automatically on the local computer if you want to have a copy of the meeting or if you need to take minutes or something like that, you might want to record it here. The ones that I normally do are require a meeting password and enable join before host. Now, once you've got your meeting set up, you've got it scheduled, down at the bottom, click the blue save button. Now, once you do this, it's going to basically show you all of the details that you just set up in your meeting. Now, it'll give you the option to add this to your Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, or Yahoo Calendar. Uh, and then once you're ready, you're done with that, basically then what you want to do is you can either edit this meeting here at the bottom or click the blue button here that says start this meeting and then it'll prompt you to open up the Zoom app on your computer or on your mobile device. Now, obviously I'm not going to do that because I don't want to show you that just yet. One thing that we didn't do is we did not send the invitation to anyone. So once you're ready to invite people to the meeting, you're going to be able to see here underneath this, there's really no option to actually invite people within the scheduling option. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of this. But if you go here back to the meeting diagnostic screen, you'll be able to see this here that says, copy the invitation. So we're gonna copy the invitation. It's gonna say, hi there, name of the person. It's gonna give them the information and it's going to allow me to copy meeting invitation. Now that's gonna copy all of that stuff there. This is going to give them all of the details they're going to need to join the meeting from whatever platform they're using. They can join from a PC, a Mac, a Linux, an iOS, or Android using this link right here. They can join on their phone by clicking this number here. Zoom is doing all of that work for you. So once you've copied this here, send it via email or text message to the people you're trying to invite and they can take it from there. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the receiving end now. All right, I'm back over here in my Gmail, and this is what it looks like when you receive an invite for a Zoom meeting. You're gonna see topic of the meeting, you're gonna see when the meeting is scheduled for, you're gonna see that you can join it using this link right here from any of these platforms, and you're also going to see the number here that you can call in if you're using and, and allowing to, to you know utilize phone audio like we set up in the meeting. So once you're ready, click the link here, boom, and you're ready to launch the app. And again, I think it's pretty obvious 
but I'm gonna go ahead and state this, you need to download and install Zoom on your platform. So if you're on a Mac, you need to download Zoom. If you're on iOS device or Android, you need to download Zoom. Uh, if you wanna know what that looks like, I will go ahead and open it up now in my dock. You can see here, this is what the Mac version looks like. They all look very similar. So basically, you can see the join option here. If you go to join, you can copy and paste that meeting ID. The meeting ID is going to be in your email. You can see right here, meeting ID, boom, right there. But if it's just very simple to just click on that link, automatically open and launch Zoom, and then go that way. That's kind of the easiest way of doing it. And then if you're on a mobile device, it works just the same way. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this video. If you have any questions about utilizing Zoom for your business or for you individually, please put those in the comment section below. I'll get to those as quickly as I possibly can. Just remember, you do need to download the app if you're going to be joining via the link. If you're gonna be joining via phone audio, you don't have to. You can just call in like you would a normal conference call. Hopefully this was helpful. Like the video, share the video with your friends and family, subscribe for more great tech content just like this, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.